Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Tyler Tarver here with Tarver Academy. And today we're going to talk about how to format cells in Google Sheets. Sorry, I almost got a docs. Okay, so here we go. So we're going to take this cell right here as our example cell. Um, when you format a cell, all that is is you have options with what that looks like. So a ton of your options for formatting cells are up here. They're in your, your, your basic bar that everybody gets. Um, however, they also have put some of the stuff back here. So we're going to go to format. And from here, I can choose all of the things I can do to format my cell. So we'll just start at the beginning. Um, so here we go. Let's say I had a number. I can choose automatically it's going to format my numbers. But, but if I wanted to, I could have it to where it does um, different looks. So dates and times are, I think, where you're going to use it the most. So depending on what you want your date and time to look at, look like, you can change all that stuff. I've formatted that cell um, to that, but it's not a date and time. So, um, but that's where you go if you want to change anything that the way that a date or number looks. Um, here we go. Bold. That's what it is. Make it bold. So that's up here as well. You got italic. That's up here as well. Make it a little larger. Um, we got underline. You know what underline means. I wouldn't recommend underlining unless it is a link because people are going to think it's a link. Um, strike through. We know what that is. We cut that. Uh, font size. We can make it larger if we want. Now it's going to go over that line. So I'm going to double tap this. And now it's expanded it. Okay. Still going to select that cell. Because that's what I'm working with. Um, we can align it. I can put it at the top, the middle, the bottom left, right, center. Um, so this right here, these three are where they are like horizontally. So it'll go to the left, the center or the right. This is where it goes vertically. So I can move it to the top, the middle or the bottom. So say I want to move it to the top and I also want to move it to the right. So top right. So I'm going to move, stretch out the cell so you can see it. It's in the top right. Okay. So I'm going to go to format. Um, I've not merging cells because I haven't selected more than one. If I select more than one, now I can merge the cells. Don't want to do that though. Next, uh, text wrapping. Um, these are my three options. This is also in the menu bar. Overflow means that if, um, let's say it's too small. Oh, well, that's not the way we want to work that. Um, oh yeah, because I've got it right aligned. It's going to be weird. So let's do um, this. It shows how to... Uh, wrap or extend a cell. See how I just fell over the top of every cell beside it? It's not a really great way to do it. Um, so I've, I've made my screen larger, so you have to hit these three dots. Usually it'll show up without that. But um, you could do, um, where do I, I don't know, it's right here. Sorry. My bad. Okay, so um, text wrapping. That makes, means it goes over the line. This is going to make it wrap it, so it's all going to stay in the cell. It's just going to expand the cell, and then this would make it go, and it just disappears the rest of it. Now, I can still see it if I click it. See, I can see it up here in my, my function box, function bar. Boom. I'm going to text wrap it because, you know, it's a good form of music. Um, boom. Okay, let's keep going. Format, text rotation. I can rotate it, uh, you know, by any angle I want, stack it, tilt it, anything like that. Um, this is ha handy if you're like doing the top of it and you've got like long, you know, sentences or definitions here, but then numbers here. So let's say this up, but 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 20. Oh, it keeps rounding it because <laughs> I only highlighted those. Um, and then I could go here. Let's say I want to say um, numbers I typed on the fly. Okay, let's say I want to make this smaller. I could take this and then I could go into format. And then I can go to, uh, I can rotate it, um, I'm going to say 90 degrees, boom, see, now it's vertical. So that's a good way if you're like doing lists of things, but you have numbers down here, it helps you uh, condense a lot of that. So those are those options. Let's see what else we got. Initial formatting, that's pretty extensive. That just means that like it does something based on different criteria. Um, then we got alternating colors, we can do that as well, we can select these alternate the colors and I didn't select a bunch of so this many boom um, do that okay oh it didn't do it that's cute um, so done let's see select the whole thing 
format, alternating colors, and let's add that. And, uh, oh, I didn't apply it, so I messed something up in there, but that's what you do. Most of your format stuff is going to be in your bar up here. Okay, so most everything you want to do is in this little guy. So get familiar with it, use it. Um, there's not a ton of options, but it appears that you can always get more options by doing add-ons or looking at some of these. Um, Google Sheets has it, but this is really nice because uh, it's just accessible and it doesn't give you a lot of stuff you never use. This is the majority of the stuff you're gonna use. So hope that helped. Hope you have a great day. As always, never stop learning out there. This is Tyler with Tarver Academy and I've already said the catchphrase, never stop learning. See you guys later, bye. Hey, what's up? Thank you so much for watching my training video. If that helped at all, please subscribe to this channel. It's free, costs nothing. Just click the little red subscribe button unless they change the color. Hey, also, if you want me to come to your school and help train your teachers or your administrators or your students and help make your life easier with Google, just let me know. I've got links in the bio on how to get a hold of me. DM me at Tyler Tarver on Instagram or Twitter. You can go hit my email, tylertarver at gmail.com. Um, or you can just yell really loud. Maybe I'm close. Oh, I thought I heard somebody. You want me to come training on Google? No? Okay. It'll be fun. We'll learn a lot. And I'll give you a bunch of resources. So, thank you guys. Hey, did you subscribe? We talked about it earlier. No pressure. But if you want to, I'll be here. I'm just going to wait right here. Look at this lighting. Oh, wow.